Precious water being wasted gushing onto a Detroit street, and when calls to the water department got no results, neighbors called our Ronnie Dahl. And she joins us live from Detroit's northwest side tonight. So, Ronnie, what's going on? This all started when crews were upgrading some equipment in the area. One wrong move, and this is what you have. Water flowing at a rapid pace right out here into the roadway. Well, it was made a top priority, so why hasn't it been fixed yet? Hour after hour, day after day, countless gallons of precious water is being wasted, like money just being tossed down the drain. That's a lot of water. Thousands of gallons, I'm sure. That the trouble started a couple days ago when crews replaced the old worn out fire hydrant at the corner of Finkel and St. Mary's. We ended up hitting a stem valve. That sent water gushing, creating a creek through the city street. On the mark, get set, go, ducky, go! The wasted water has Detroiters quacking. They should do something about this because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it don't make any sense. With all these water shutoffs and things going on in the city, you wonder how come they can't channel this water to their homes instead of letting it go flowing in the streets. This is crazy out here. They need to hurry up and come fix it. A spokesperson for the Detroit Water and Sewage Department says stopping the water from flowing isn't a quick fix. We have to call Ms. Dig to be sure uh, where we're going to dig is actually the right area. And that way we can uh, keep our water safe as well as keep our contractors safe who are out there. Waiting for Miss Dig can take up to 72 hours. In that time, repairs can't be made and the water can't be shut off. And so it continues to flow freely. If you're in need, get out here with a bucket, take it, boil it, and you're good to go. You know, no bill, no nothing. So many people in Detroit without water right now. So if you need some, like he said, grab your bucket, come on out here, put it under there. Because they say this is safe, it's clean, and you know what? It's going to be flowing like this until at least tomorrow. Uh, we're told that this is not repaired right now because this is on the same line as a school. They didn't want to shut off the water to the school, so they're going to wait until Saturday when the school is closed. That's when this repair will be made. And so we'll, of course, be checking in to make sure it is. One other thing before I go, I want to remind Detroiters, you do have another avenue when you have issues out there. Don't forget about your city council members. They are elected by district to represent you. And if you live over here in the first district, you'd want to reach out to James Tate. Call him, email him. He has an entire staff that is dedicated to addressing your issues. He's your voice at City Hall, and besides, your tax dollars are paying for their salaries. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye on this because it is a lot of wasted water. For now, we're live in Northwest Detroit. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Ronnie. A lot of water, a lot of money.